Hey, Newbie Dan here, and this is a Newbie Tooltip about Brad Point bits and other twist bits. Newbie Tooltips are short videos that highlight specific tools or techniques. They're not intended to be in depth reviews or tutorials, and they're not sponsored by anyone. My main focus is on drilling wood, so even though some, if not all, of these bits might work with metal, I won't be talking about that. Here's the tips of the bits I'll be focusing on there's a multi purpose bit, a pilot point bit, and a brad point bit. You need to remember that pilot point and brad point are not the same. These three bits are part of a group of bits, which are collectively known as twist bits. The first type of bit almost everyone starts out with is the multi purpose bit, or as most people refer to them, simply drill bits. Multi purpose bits have a pointed tip shaped kind of like a V. The larger the diameter of the multi purpose bit, the greater the chance of tear out. Sometimes this can be prevented with a piece of painter's tape on the back. And sometimes not. Oops. Trust me, it actually does work sometimes. If not, clamp a piece of scrap wood to the back of the board. In some circumstances, it can be hard to get this kind of bit started in the right location because the bit may want to skate around the board. See how I miss the center of the crosshairs? When this happens, Mark the wood with something like this punch, or nail, or drill a pilot hole first. Pretty close to the middle of the crosshairs. One upside of the shape of this tip is that if you have an existing hole you want to enlarge, this bit will sort of center itself in the existing hole, making it a pretty good choice for enlarging existing holes. DeWalt's pilot point bit is a modification to the standard multipurpose bit. It has a small extended portion here, which acts sort of like it's drilling a pilot hole, hence the name pilot point. This point helps keep the bit from skating at the start, which means you may not have to put a mark in the wood or drill a pilot hole. Pretty close to the center of the crosshairs, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it's hard to line up this bit on your mark, because you may not be able to see the tip of the bit very well. You'll see what I mean when we get to brad point bits in just a moment. These bits also produce tear out, so be aware of that. The cutting edges of the flutes are flat across, instead of angled like multi-purpose bits. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is good, bad, or irrelevant. As always, I'm a wealth of useful information. <laughs> One small downside of this type of bit is that it usually isn't the best bit for enlarging an existing hole, unless the existing hole is about the size of the pilot point or smaller. Now we come to my favorite type of drill bit. Brad point bits have a long, sharp point on the end, almost like a brad nail. Hence the name brad point. See how different it is from the other two bits? The long sharp point makes it easy to align the bit to your exact cutting spot. Unlike pilot point bits, you can see exactly where you place the point. Generally speaking, they start drilling right where you place them, with no skating, as long as you keep a little pressure on it at the start. They have spurs on the leading edges, which shear the wood, leading to cleaner holes, with far less tear out than virtually any other bit. Of course, these bits are not good for enlarging existing holes. I'm using this set of brad point bits from Rockler, but do not buy these unless you read my blog post first. You can find the direct link to the blog post in the description of this video below, or you can go to the newbiewoodworker.com and look for my blog post called The Saga of My Brad Point Drill Set. The issue is with some of the bits being wobbly. Here's a side by side comparison of a non wobbly bit and one that has some wobble, but it probably isn't too bad. Now go read my blog post for the full story and how I solved it, mostly. Check out the description for links to products seen in this video. Just scroll down, click Show More, and scroll down until you see the links. And if you like what I do here, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell to get notified about new videos. Thanks!